In this video, I'm gonna give you two different ways to handle fast serves. One's gonna be technique, and the other is going to be strategy. Now to help me show you the technique part of this video, I've got the Topspin Pro here to get your own, you know what to do. Use my link in the description. I'm also gonna pin it in the first comment. So the first idea is keep your elbows out away from you. The easiest way to shorten a backswing, I don't care if it's a volley or a ground stroke, is elbows out. When you keep your elbows in or too close to the body near the rib cage, when you turn, instantly your strings face off to the side. Now I'm not gonna move my hand at all. The only thing I'm gonna do is push my elbow out and I want you to watch what happens to my strings. See, there is an angle between the forearm and wrist, right? That's because the contact point is out in front and we want our strings to face forward with the contact out in front. The only way to do that is to have a layback in the wrist. Well, when your arm and your elbow are jammed into your side, that points your strings off to the side. So if your elbows are in and you turn for a forehand, just by having your hand next to you, your strings face off to the side, all of a sudden the ball goes wide and you were late and you're thinking, oh, I gotta shorten my swing. When really your hand was in the right place, all you needed to do, and again, watch my racket, watch what happens to my racket. When you push your elbow out, all of a sudden your strings are facing forward and now your take back isn't too large. So I don't care if it's on the backhand or the forehand. Get your elbows out away from you, and then when you turn and have a unit turn, your strings face forward and your backswing isn't too far back. Now before I show you the strategy to use to handle fast serves, if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. This is commonly overlooked. To react to fast serves, just stand farther back. Now, when it comes to doubles and you got a net player, you can't always do this just because there's more time that the net player has to react to your ball cross court and they can poach it. But in singles, if you're a singles player, just move farther back, completely take away the speed of their serve. Yes, can they serve out wide more likely now to try to ace you out wide because you're out of position? Sure, but in my experience, people who have a fast serve wanna show off their fast serve. And when you move back, they will take that as a challenge and say, oh yeah, well watch this. And they try to hit their serve so fast, their percentage goes way down. And when they do hit it in, you've got all the time you need to react. Work on getting your elbows out and standing farther back to return fast serves and there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.